Oh, hey, how's it going? Sorry, I was just drinking some water before I get going in this video. But today, I got some like interesting topic for you guys. I don't know, I feel like I get asked this question a lot, so I figured I might as well answer it. I even did some research for you guys on this one. Hey, what is going on, everyone? Devin can up here with another video provide massive value and fire content like always. And so if you're new to the channel or you guys enjoyed today, today what I've got going for you, make sure you join the fam, join the gang, but hit that nice looking subscribe button down below. And so normally in most of my videos, like I was saying, I just like a lot of what I've learned from wholesaling is from my own personal experience. And so one of the areas of expertise that I am not so sure or familiar with is getting proof of funding um, through private funding in order to pick up deals as like if you ever have like a property that's bank owned or um, working with a realtor with an agent or there's like some other options out there but essentially they'll all need proof of funding for you to even go look at the property and so sometimes you even get really stubborn sellers that won't let you look at the property until you show proof of funds and so they, they really don't have to see the proof of funds, but if they're gonna, um, there's just some that won't even work with you if you aren't willing to show that you are able to afford the property that you are working with, which is silly because majority of the time, people that flip properties don't even use their own money. And so it's kind of interesting, especially when you tell them you're working with cash, there's like hard money lenders and private money lenders that most of the time people leverage for their cash they're able to get it quickly in order to pick up a property or flip it and whatnot and so how to obtain this proof of funds letter so there's actually a few different ways like i said i researched this one so that way i could give you guys a definite answer this is one of those quite like those questions if you had it it literally took me like i want to say five minutes to find the answer and so if you don't have five minutes every day and you can't go and look up these answers yourself then i don't think wholesaling is your thing but like I said, I'm, I'm trying to get, have like a library of content for you guys so that we have the answers to everything. But like I said, um, majority of the questions that you guys may have about wholesaling, it takes like five minutes to find online and you don't really necessarily have to ask someone for it. And so, okay, so my research, what it, what it has shown is that there seems to be about three different ways to get proof of funds. And so the first way, probably the most difficult way, is to use your like basically sh um, have your bank create a draft up a letter for you saying that you have the money in your bank account and so most wholesalers and most uh, new investors they it do that situation doesn't work out for them and so like i said if you have the money in your bank go go ask your bank and they'll write you a proof of funds letter but if you don't if you're like everybody else that's getting started or if you don't really just have the funding yet or you just don't want to use your own money or you don't have enough for this property then there's a couple other options for you, don't you worry. And so first of all, um, I would say this is probably the best way is to, once you start networking, you start to meet up with other people that are either private money lenders or there's other companies out there that do hard money loans. And so majority of these companies, they can provide a proof of funding a letter for you they can drop the one up and they can write it up for you and so now it just really depends on the company some of them will do it for free because they figure hey if we draft up this letter for you then you will use our money to pick up the property and whatnot you don't necessarily have to but um, as good business is you better be using them as your lender for all your properties that you need lending for in order to flip or whatever wholesale fix and flip whatever it need your situation may arise and or the other option is they may charge you for writing up these proof of funding letters because it does take some of their own time or some of their own um, staff in order to write this letter up for you and so it really just depends you can call around and try to figure out who does what who does the best uh, funding and who does the best uh write, writes up the best deals for the letters and whatnot and so that's that's one of the the the, the probably the best option for you if uh, you're trying to get into real estate investing for the long run. And so now there's a third option as well. And what this option is, is I found this website. Let me look at it real quick. I have it open. So it's called fundthiswholesaler.net. Like fundthiswholesaler.net. And so just making sure I get that right. 
Um, so I will actually add their link to the bio. I, I have no affiliate whatsoever. This is just for my quick research that I found literally just trying to make sure that it had the right answers for you guys inside of this video. And so they, uh, they charge between, I think it's like $1.99 per letter or $10 per month, uh, for unlimited letters. And so, like I said, this is probably like if you want the quick way and you don't have a, the connections of a private money lender or a hard money lender, or you just don't want to uh, go out there and try to network and talk to people and find good money lenders for you and your business, then this option is available for you as well. So please understand that there are different options out there. And so, like I said, uh, there's like a few different options. And so I just want you to, to go out there and pick up one of these proofs of funds. I, it's not really that big of a deal. I don't, get why it's necessarily something that companies need in order for you to do a deal with them just because like it's it's so easy to go get one of these proofs of funding and so you you don't have to have like any credit or that any money or experience or anything to get one of these letters so it's very pointless to ask for a proof of funding letter if i was in the seller's shoes and um, i knew that the that wholesaling was a thing and people are trying to make money off of my house uh and whatnot i I wouldn't be asking for a proof of funds. What I would be asking is to just try to really figure out, like try to get the honesty out of whoever's buying my property and trying to figure out like what their motivation is and what what they're gonna get out of it and whatnot. So to, just to see that, see whether or not I trust this person to sell my property. I don't know, that's just my personal experience from from being in the business and whatnot. But anyways, I don't know, it's, it's up to you guys. Like I said, I gave you guys some options in, they, in order to get proof of funding. I have never needed it. I have like had a couple cases where people asked for it and then it they weren't motivated anyways to check out the property. I sent them an offer and whatnot, but nobody really that I went on an appointment with that was motivated and they needed a proof of funds. So majority of the time, if they're motivated, they, they don't need any proof of funding. The only reason why would probably be if they're like bank owned properties or if an agent is working with them and which we never really touch deals that are on the MLS anyways. So it would have to be bank owned if we're doing like a short sale or something like that. And so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, kind of trying to be a little bit more informative on this one. I don't really, I didn't really expect how long this one would take. I didn't know how much content would be in here, but like I said, I'm trying to give you guys all the options. So that way you guys have the knowledge that you need to know whenever you run into a seller. So that way you guys can run, pick up deals and make cash fast inside of this wholesaling business. It's awesome. It's amazing. If you don't know what real estate wholesaling is, I got a video in the description of every video that I make that just walks through step by step on exactly what is real estate wholesaling. And it's also in the end credits if you wanna stick around for those as well. And so if you guys are new to the channel and you guys like today's video, please join the fam, join the game, but hit that nice looking subscribe button down below. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please drop a like. And so like always, I am uploading every day. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.